Hello guys, welcome to Sim UK. This is I Expect You To Die, an absolutely fantastic game that uh, is very, very closely linked, or very, very closely based on uh, the James Bond series. Now, uh, this game is absolutely superb. I'm gonna tell you that right off the bat. In VR, this has got to be one of the most brilliant games, I think, that's been released. There is one major issue with it, however, the lack of content. This game will set you back £20 if you buy it off Steam. You might be able to find it cheaper elsewhere. But um, for £20, you only really get five or six missions. There's been an extra one added since, uh, since release as a thank you from the, uh, from the developers probably a thank you for all the money we've given them but uh, yeah I suspect this game is going to be followed up with a lot of DLC now based on the price of the main game I'm a little bit concerned that they're going to be charging something ridiculous like five pound per mission which is simply outrageous I could be totally wrong on this fact I hope that I am if they sort of charge you ten pound for ten missions then absolutely I'm 100% on board with that. I think that's a very good price and a very good deal. And this is a very, 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 very good game. Um, I myself am a bit of a, a James Bond fan. In fact, I'm a massive James Bond fan. To give you some indication of what this game is kind of like, you can see I've got this telekinesis capability here. Uh, and that allows you to have in-game play space, which is very big. I mean, you see the size of this room. Everything is clickable and controllable. Where's my gun? Where is my gun? Ah, there she is. And having this telekinesis capability allows you to... Uh... Oh, typical. I can't shoot any books off. Shoot the book over. There we go. Finally got something to move. Uh, yeah, it's... Um very very it's very capable if you've got room scale then uh, if you have room scale then you can just waltz around this room and play everything the way that you want to play it but uh, this telekinesis capability allows you to play the full game in a much smaller gameplay area there's always that which is good um, new missions come through the door here and you use your telekinesis to pick it up and bring it over here and um, unlike any other game I've ever played this actually has the most amazing opening credits so I'm going to play them but I'm going to put them at the end of the video so you can choose whether or not you want to watch it okay guys so the very first mission that comes up is friendly skies I'm going to take you through that one because I don't want to ruin the game but I'll show you how cool this game is and I'll sort of talk through everything that's going to happen or does happen as I do it so here we are and I forgot I forgot to play the mission introduction you may be wondering why this car can never reach Zanzibar it has some of the most high-tech weaponry in Dr. Zor's considerable arsenal. Naturally, we'd like to poke at it a bit. Drive it off the plane, and you may just earn that vacation you're always going on about. So yeah, basically, this is the kind of thing you can expect. This is quite a small play space, but you can see there's a lot of buttons and switches and things that you control and all sorts of stuff and gubbins going on all over the place here. And you've got to figure out how to complete the mission. Now the mission here is to get this car out of that door from this aircraft. Now, the first thing you do is look around you and you see, oh look, we've got some paperwork here. Now this is a 40 cannon reset system. So uh, if you're thinking logically, you're gonna use the cannon to shoot the door open, but uh, how do you activate the cannon? Well, it looks like you need to press this button here which requires you to remove this panel, which looks an awful lot like this panel. But uh, you're going to need a screwdriver, as it says, and you can see there are screws. Then you press this button, which is this one here, and out will pop the cannon. And then you put the, uh, well, 
This is a gas canister which you can find in here. So you pop the gas canister in, you pull the lever and it fires the gun. Now there's a lot to do before we get to that point. And when you're first starting out in this game, it's uh, easy to get distracted by the red herrings like cash. It's quite a bit of cash. Also this knife, which is quite important. Now, I haven't really found any use for the cash yet. I have no reason why, no reason to understand why there's so much cash laying around. So, uh, I don't really know what to do with it, if I'm being honest. Oh, I don't have my room scale on today, so I'm kind of getting in the way of the sensor there. But not to worry, we shall press on. So, put myself a little champers. So like I say, there are quite a few red herrings, some things that uh, throw you off the pace. There's more than one way to complete every mission. You can see there's another piece of paper here. This is a, an information sheet on how to arm your bomb. Important. Remember that. And, uh, just close this up here you can also see that I have one here and uh, this confirms that uh, we have a parachute attached to this car so it will auto deploy and we don't need to worry about that so that's good so there's a lot of information here now you may have spotted the pistol in the back uh, the first time I played this I thought well I need a screwdriver there's a screwdriver there so I shot the window not realizing that there's poison gas out there all this noxious green smoke is going to kill you. So, that doesn't work. What are we going to do? Well, if you look up, you find a key. Now, there is something here. And uh, at first, I didn't know what that was. But uh, if we start the engine, you'll soon find out. Intruder detected. Present I for retina scan. A retina scan. Move head closer to scan. Scan failed. Targeting. Ooh. Avoid that. Laser avoided. Deploying secondary countermeasures. Secondary countermeasure is this bomb. <laughs> oh, the old ticking bomb. I'm partial to plastic explosives myself, but you must respect the classics. I believe diffusing bombs is covered in basic training, yes? Yes, indeed. So, we have the flick knife. We have the how to arm your bomb, but we don't want to arm it, we want to disarm it. So instead of going one, two, three, we're going to go three, two, one. No ticking is good ticking, as they say. Now, can we please focus on getting the car out of the plane? Yes, indeed we can. So, we've got the engine running now, which means we have a working window which is cool. Now you may have thought to yourself, as I did, uh, I'll use this knife to take the screws off and then I don't need to open the window at all, but... I've seen you do many creative things with a knife, but I don't think turning screws will be among them. Which is a shame. But, there you go. Let me just have a... Lovely. Feeling all refreshed. Right. So what we need to do is we need to use our telekinesis to grab said screwdriver and shut that window pronto. Now, obviously that's going to hurt us a little bit, but we'll survive. We'll get over that one. Job done. So we don't need that anymore because we know how to load it. Now, in here we have gas canisters, obviously that's what we're meant to load in order to open, uh, in order to fire the cannon. But uh, a gas canister doesn't do anything if I just press this button. Weapons offline. Ah, reset. System resetting. Weapons online. Gas canister, loaded, fire. That doesn't do much other than make lots of smoke. So, what we need to do is think outside the box. What do we have available to us? Well, I'm sure some of you have already figured out that we have this explosive dynamite from the bomb. But how do we light it? Well, 
I like to do it this way. But as I say, there are many ways in which you can do it. So uh, there really are multiple ways that you can do this stuff, and it's great. And that's what's so awesome about this, is it's, it's not linear. I mean, it is linear, but it's openly linear. So there's more than one way to, to skin these particular cats. Let's uh, pop this in here. Love unconventional. It. Absolutely but love then it. Then again, convention never was your strong suit. You'd better drive the car off the plane before something else explodes. Now I've never pressed these two buttons over here, and I'm loath to do so because it might kill me. But driving out of the aeroplane is how you complete this mission. Let's just see Deploying what this does. Scorpions. Scorpions. Next oh my God! There's a scorpion down there. Do you see that scorpion down there? That's freaking me out. Are there any more? What did this one do? Next message. Yeah. Next message. We, uh, Next message. It's your birthday, it's your birthday, Dr. Zor. Oh, happy birthday, happy birthday, Dr. Zor. Oh, <laughs> one more year, have no fear. It's your birthday, it's your birthday, Dr. Zor. Oh. Happy birthday, Next Dr. Zor. Miss Lincoln has decided to cooperate. Operation Toxic Rain is back on schedule. Where did that scorpion go? I was going to shoot it, but I don't know where it is. I'm a little freaked out. Right, okay, so anyway, that's the mission completed. Accelerate, let's go. Oh, let's go. Parachutes deployed. Another successful mission. Now, about that vacation, I'm afraid I lied about that, but I believe hard work is its own reward, don't you? So there we go, guys. We finished dissecting Zor's car, and only two technicians died in the process. A new record. A few of Zor's car phone messages were from the head of a pharmaceutical company that produces lady shampoo. I hope they have plenty on hand, because things are about to get hairy. And dirty. Thus the, the, the need for the shampoo. Yeah. <laughs> so it's cheesy, it's old school British cheese, it's funny, it's fun, it's difficult, but not too difficult. And it just works brilliantly, there's no bugs, everything seems to work perfectly well. I really, really like this game. I think it's fantastic. And um, I think you should definitely, definitely, definitely buy this game. And if you don't, then I think I'm going to have to blow us up. So my name's Mike. This is Sim UK. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to watch that intro, it's pretty interesting. Brilliant soundtrack. Goodbye for now. You got away again. You must think you're so clever. I promise you, agent, can't escape me forever. We're playing a game. Take from me, I take from you. But every game ends, and when this one is through, I expect you to die. The best of the best, you die. I expect you to die. I expect you to die. When you finally see the worst side of me. you to die. That voice in your ear, they've no chance to save you. A mere puppeteer, they only enslave you. You're a piece on a board, I bet with my wealth, my armies of dreams. Still greater schemes A lake full of acid
drill from the sky If you try to fight me, we'll watch your folks die Lasers and saw blades with sharks on standby You're right where I want you to And this is goodbye I expect you to die If you're a James Bond fan like me, then I can't see how you could possibly hate that. You're not going to get the same experience I am because I'm wearing the VR headset and you're just seeing it on the screen. But trust me, that was brilliant. <laughs>